<laughs> Thank you very much. Let me acknowledge, let me acknowledge the Vice Chancellor, Professor Moya, and your leadership team of this great university. All the professors, doctors, lecturers, um, staff, everybody at this university and those that are visiting. My recognition also goes to my colleagues um, in the cabinet through the Minister of Education and also the Provincial Minister. I must also acknowledge uh, public sector workers, central government, through Secretary of the Cabinet's office and the rank and file, and also through the local government, mayoral and indeed council chairpersons, members of parliament, and councillors. Let me recognize all our diplomatic corps that may be here, and indeed, indeed, our cooperating partners who have been supporting education in one way or another in our country and beyond our country. Let me also acknowledge, acknowledge the student leadership, our student leadership, Nzasu President, Ridgeway Campus President, the student populace. Let me give special recognition to my fellow monks. Viva Monko Viva! Viva Monko Viva! There would be no monk without a partner. Let me give let me give a special recognition to our mama. Viva la mama viva! Viva la mama viva! Viva the student populace viva! I must also acknowledge the media and indeed all distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Banani? Okay. Okay. Our service chiefs and also everybody else. Special recognition to all of you, especially that group there and that group there. Viva la Monko Viva! Viva la Moma Viva! Only Moma, eh? Viva la Moma Viva! Ah, well done. Manja, 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 manja. Manja, manja, manja. You can see the vibrance of the Momas and the monks. Please remember that I'm one of you. La Monko, I'm one of you. Always remember that you have a president who is one of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys. Let's make progress. Vamonko. Vamoma. I want to express my great gratitude. Deep, deep gratitude. To acknowledge that. Many years ago, I stood in this place, in this place as a proud UNSA graduate. As you heard, to acknowledge, to accept my bachelor's degree in economics and business. After going through these lecture rooms, I, after going through the basements, 
special collections, all of the things that you do these days, I used to do them that time. Indeed, indeed, HH Wapa Unza, HH Wapati, HH Wapati, Pamene Pano. Thank you very much. I, I am really thrilled, very quickly, I'm really thrilled and humbled to stand before you at this very special convocation of the University of Zambia as an awardee of this prestigious honorary doctorate in business administration, which I heartily, heartily, graciously accept, deeply accept. Thank you very much for this honor. Thank you very much for this honor. Chabuino, Chabuino, thank you very much, my fellow monks and momas. Um, our story is very simple. Started as an ordinary child in the village. Like many, many other children. <laughs> He's doing a body dance. He's doing a body dance. He's doing a body dance. <laughs> Our story is very simple. Thank you, guys. Thank you, my dear friends. Truly love you so much. If you open my heart, you see a lot of love for you. All of you, without exception. So our story is very simple. Born in the village, went to school, first three, four, five years without shoes. Absolutely. That's how it was. Ran to school five kilometers away, going and back. Moved on and did our primary and secondary education in our country, one of the provinces of our one unitary state, Zambia, and only came to Lusaka after my national service, my military training, which I really cherish, which I really cherish, but no, no, my guys. I only came to Lusaka for one reason, to come to this university, to come to UNSA. As it was this, those days, you got a scholarship based on your grades, nothing else. And we came to this university and graduated here. Then Dr. Kaunda was the chancellor, and I shook his hands around here as a graduate of this university. Moved on, moved on, as you heard already very quickly, to do my master's in the United Kingdom at a Birmingham Business School at the University of Birmingham and came back home as a young professional and worked and fairly quickly entered business when I was 27 years old. And the rest is history. The rest is history, but all of that was left by determination, 
irrespective of the challenges, irrespective of the hurdles, the bottlenecks along the way. Lesson number one for all of you monks and momas. Stay focused. Nothing should distract you from education. And there's time for everything. Now it's time to acquire skills, to work with the lecturers, support staff as a team, and to get your education, your skills in your pocket. Graduate. Then it will open the doors for many, many other things, as it did for this fellow speaking here today. But you have to be focused, you have to work hard. There are no two ways about it. I know in these lecture rooms, I know some students who thought that you can just pray throughout the day and you will pass the exams. You never pass the exams like that. You have to, you have to work hard. Prayer will help. Pangono, guys. Prayer will help, but prayer must be anchored on being studious, on paying attention in the lecture rooms, lecture times. Now we have internet, acquiring skills through there. When you work hard, prayer becomes easy to deliver results. But no prayer without working hard will deliver for anyone. In the university, any college in the workplace. That's how it is. So, as you heard, business is important. Business investments is important. Grow the economy, generate revenues is very important. Then we can fund free education. Then we can fund meal allowances. We can increase students on government support. We can also, I want to confirm here, I have issued directives that those in completed accommodation hostels will be completed. Vamonko, Vamonko, Vamoma. Those works will be completed so that those rooms will be available to the students. We had to do the work that was necessary. The country had become bankrupt. We had to restructure the debt. We had to retrieve the economy from the decline, from the bottom. Those economics and finance students know that Zambia went to the bottom in the terms of the economy. The economy collapsed to minus 2.8% GDP growth per annum. Our duty was to bring the economy back from the graveyard into viability, into functionality. Simple. Now that we have achieved the debt restructuring, the first country, yet we were not the first in the queue, Zambia so far is now the first country to qualify for the debt restructuring under the G20 Common Framework. Hard work. Hard work. Now, if it weren't for the drought, this year we were going to have the largest harvest of maize. But the drought disturbed us. But the drought is given us an opportunity to flip the coin, to look for opportunity amidst the drought, such as resolving the energy crisis, and I've issued instructions that you will have solar energy here as a priority at the University of Zambia. But so will be the case in other institutions, hospitals, critical institutions, other educational institutions, water utilities. The drought is sending a signal to us that climate change is here to stay. And there's a good monk of this university, we're flipping the coin and turning into a space of opportunity. That's why we are driving irrigation agriculture now. 
That's what a graduate of UNSA, Echiwapa UNSA, must do. Viva wa monk, viva! Viva wa mama, viva! Viva wa mama, viva! You are beautiful. You are beautiful. So let's work together to flip the coin, to look for opportunities amid these challenges. As we were able to walk to school, as we were able to go through this university, this is a very tough university. I can tell you when we went to do our masters, it was easy because the background here was wonderful. I can attest to that. My master's program was much easier, my undergraduate here. And I know it will be the case for you. And we must thank our professors, doctors, and lecturing staff here. Manja, 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 manja. <laughs> Professor Moya, I want you to know that we as your students, my fellow monks and momas are proud of you and your teaching staff. We are proud of the support staff at this university, all universities, all colleges, institutions of learning across the country, including, at, if you like, preschool, early childhood education, primary school, secondary school. Very, very proud. All of them, yes. I said all the universities, including the private universities because they are teaching our own children there. Let me move on. Yes, that's why I'm talking about solar. I'm talking about solar. To Allah Sova. Among problems are created so that solutions are found. That's our mindset. That's what drives us. Let me really express the contribution of this university to our country's advancement. This university and other universities, colleges have done so much to train our people. Let me tell you, without education, no country succeeds. Education is the best investment, best equalizer, best inheritance. Have you heard? Best of the three, all of the three, best investment, Best equalizer and inheritance. You leave your children resources without education, they will squander the resources. Vamonk, Vamoma. Vamonko, Vamoma. You must count yourself fortunate to be here. You must count yourself privileged and maximize the value you generate from here. I must tell you, this university has produced all the engineers you know, and other universities, if I may say that. These institutions, this university, other universities, other colleges, have produced our engineers, geologists, Without the products of this and other universities, you wouldn't have a mining sector. Without graduates of this university and other universities, you wouldn't have agriculturists. You wouldn't have, to be honest, doctors. Now, can anyone question the importance of education? Nobody. Why? we are investing money in the education sector because we know the value of education. We know it. Our hearts are joined with yours as the bodies of Siamese twins are. We're in this together. Whatever challenges we face, we shall overcome. But before I come to there, this university is a special one. In addition to producing skills for the country and the region. Most of you remember that a number of the universities in the Sadiq region were supported by skills from here. This university provided the skills. This university did not just do that. This is one of the few universities in the world that have produced graduates or lecturers from here 
that went on to be presidents in five countries. Let me remind you who the associates of this university, which country is the Iran as president. From here came President Manawasa. From here came President Longo. Vamonko, Vamoma, Vamonko, Vamoma. From here came President Munangagwa of Zimbabwe. He studied in these lecture rooms here. Graduated as a lawyer from Unza here. That is number three, isn't it? Number four, from here, from lecturing here, we produce President Hage Gengob of Namibia. I'm sure you are not aware of that. And every time we met with President Hage Gengob, President Munangagwa, and myself, we say, we are from one university. And the fifth one, Vamonk, Vamoma, is your fellow monk, HH. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I therefore want Vamonko, Vamoma, I want to dedicate this award to education and skills development. I want to dedicate this award to you, the monks and momas, to all the students in our land, even the young ones, early childhood education, primary school, secondary school, colleges, all of them, you, the monks and mamas here, we dedicate this award to you. Without education, without schools, without skills, I repeat, no country succeeds. Look at Japan, very few natural resources but the human capital. Look at South Korea. Very limited natural resources, but human resources. These economies are great economies. Look at the Israeli economy. Very limited resources, small economy, but human resources. This is it. That's why we dedicate this award to education and skills development. We dedicate this award in extension to inclusive development and the eradication of social inequities and unemployment and poverty. We dedicate this award to entrepreneurship. And I want to encourage you monks and mamas to consider doing business at a young age. This government will work hard to support you, very hard, so you can employ others. We can't leave employment to government alone. Yes, we've employed teachers. We've employed nurses. We've employed the army. We've employed ZAF. We have employed in national service, in the police, in the correctional services. We've employed, as I said, in health. Largest numbers, largest numbers ever since independence. But we know that those numbers are not enough. And we need the private sector to partner with us to create more jobs. We will continue creating the enabling environment to attract investment, trade, commerce for fellow citizens, for people in the region, on the continent of Africa, and in the global community.
when I went to present shortly after taking public office a lecture at the European Union Parliament, the EU Parliament was full to capacity. And I ran through our programs of what we are going to do for the country as the days rolled. And in that parliament which was full, I ended up by saying Zambia is back in the Champions League. And we are leaving that. We are leaving that. Debt restructuring, I said already, restoring the mining sector, getting education to take the center stage in our country's investment portfolio. Driving energy despite the drought, soon the en energy shortage, electricity will be a thing of the past. We're investing hard, quickly, solar, wind, everything. And we want the engineers from here to work with us, students, lecturers, to work with this government. In the innovative side, cutting edge technology, mining, energy, water engineering, hydrology, so we can irrigate. Yesterday, Vamonko, Vamoma, Niurule, Vamonko, Niurule, Vamoma, Niurule. Yesterday, we launched a nationwide mineral survey or mapping exercise. And I was talking to the professor, Professor Moya here, that we want to collaborate with the School of Mines here, the School of Mines, so that we can now know what we are seated, sitting on top of. This Unza ground may be sitting on emeralds, but we want to know. Then we can manage those resources properly. We can also ascribe the market value to our mineral resource endowment and use these resources to grow our economy, to create more jobs, entrepreneurial opportunities, but also to look after the sick, the weak, the old, the retired, those that live, live with disabilities, and children in school through free education. That's how it works. That's how it works. Anyone who tells you something else is lying. Is lying. I see a lot on social media. I see a lot of lies. Let's stay focused, Vamonk. Let's stay focused, Vamoma. You don't want to return to the days where you went to a lecture room without food because the meal allowance was taken away. To keep our meal allowance in place, we must remain focused. Are we together? Vamonko, are we together? Vamoma, are we together? Viva Moma Viva! Viva! Viva Monko Viva. Viva! We shall continue to invest in education, Professor Moe. The professor and the financial controller came to the community house yesterday and we discussed a number of things and I committed myself that as a noble student, graduate of this university, now for the second time, now for the second time, we will work as a team to dismantle the legacy problems of the University of Zambia and put this university on the right footing. We will do the same for other universities and colleges because we can do it. Because UNSA gave us the capability and the skills to find solutions to our problems. Very good. So we will work with the academic staff, support staff, we work with the monks and momas. We work with the Unzasu, Mr. Unzasu President. Unza, Unza, Unzasu President, very good. We will work together. Come, 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 come. Thank you, thank you. We will shout together. 
viva na mão que viva. Viva o Amonco viva! Viva o Amonco viva! We shall work with this president and the student body here and the student body across the country to walk through the challenges of the universities, colleges, and you, the students. With our collective efforts, we shall solve the problems one by one. That's our commitment. Thank you very much. Viva, buddy, viva! Viva. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your message. Okay, my monk. Okay, my monk. Okay, my monk. Okay, my monk. I know you are happy. I'm also happy. We are all happy. Let me ask Professor Moya that under your leadership, we must strengthen the partnership between this university and the community. The alumni must be strengthened. We must support the alma mater here. We must work as a team. I want to challenge all those who graduated from this university and others. I want to challenge you. I'm leading by example. Sponsoring some students who occupy Tiende Pamozi 511. Water here. We're supporting it. I also committed that the whole TP5 block I will rehabilitate it, and a few days ago, I was given Vamonko, Vamonko, Vamoma, Viva Monko, Viva, Viva Moma, Viva. And I got the costings now, and a few days ago, I paid 1.5 million kwacha to rehabilitate Tiende Pamozi Block 5. Ah, Tendera Fes, Pangono, 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 Pangono. Everybody Z, Vamonku Z, Vamoma Z. This is nothing. What I'm talking about is nothing. Because this university made us who we are. All the things we have heard is because of this university and other institutions. So I'm here challenging all my cabinet colleagues who went through this university to take care of their rooms and their blocks so that we can rehabilitate this university. If you can't do what I do, partner with someone else. Work as a team. I'm also going to do more. I'll get my business colleagues of many years, my partners, my business associates, my global network of friends to raise more money for improving the accommodation, including the ruins. Yeah. Viva Ramonko, viva. viva! Viva Ramonko, viva. viva! I know that Minister of Finance, Musokotwane, answered my challenge. He too will be contributing. I know Minister Technology, Mutati, answered my challenge. He too will be co contributing. But this work includes the whole university, not just in the Pamozi or Soweto. No including the basilica here. I don't know what you call it these days. The ruins inside there, we used to call it the basilica. Inside there. Where, where <laughs> the hardest monks lived there. That's what we used to call it. Huh? Vamonko, you only saw the hardcore monks that time the dining hall was working. Lunch time, they would be the first one, we used to call it Segula, at the dining hall. They would be the first one coming out of those rooms, going to eat in here. After eating, they will go back in the interior there, Basilica. So we shall look at the whole university. The story is too good, I can talk and talk is not necessary. So I want to challenge my business colleagues. I have a theory myself. If you are successful in business, God gave you a talent so you can use it to better the lives of other people. That's my principle. So I want to challenge my business colleagues. 
all of you out there, do something to make one Zambian student a happy one. Contribute something. I would like this university to also start doing some business ventures we discussed already. And I want to mention one. I want to mention one. One of the businesses I want to ensure that this university does is part of the land that the university has. We are going to put a solar farm which will generate more electricity, which some of which will be sold given our reforms in the electricity sector of open access, private generators, independent producers, also net metering. We are going to invest. I will find the investor to partner with the University of Zambia in that business to generate more money. I have already told Professor Moy about it. He knows Akuna Kulala. The work started yesterday, Professor. In the business world, every minute costs money. So we start working on that, and I will invite Professor, suggest that we put together a small team, including the students' union leadership and the workers' union, so they can see this joint venture evolve from zero to generating maybe 30, 40 megawatts, and the money that will start coming to support further improvement of this university. Simple. Very simple. Very simple. So take note of that and mark my examination script around that, especially with this doctorate. I have to work harder. I have to work with that very, very hard. Let's transform higher education. Let's make UNSA and other universities in our land premier institutions, because that's what they were when we were going through here. Premier. And I must tell you, when I went to the Birmingham Business School, University of Birmingham, I would say, I'm looking for a difficult course. I haven't found one. I haven't found one. And I don't want to be taken to court. I was surprised that students from the first world used to disturb me at 01 before the exam. Say, HH, hey, how do we solve this problem? I said, ah, you, you come from the first world. Why are you asking me how to solve this problem? <laughs> viva, Ramonko, viva! Viva, Ramoma, viva! This is how powerful this university and our institutions are. And we respect and cherish our institutions. I don't want to say more. I've said enough. But I want to motivate all of you, children, never feel inferior to anyone. Whether you were born in the village, or Mandevu, or Chimunzi Karingaringa. We used to call it Chimunzi. By the way, a lot of students from Karingaringa are intelligent because their fathers are monks from here. The fathers are monks from here. That's what used to happen in our time. Monks who go across Chimunza and produce children there. That's why the Kalingalinga Mutendere students are very intelligent. Because the genetic material comes from these monks here. Viva the monko viva! Viva the mama viva! Thank you very much. I thought today I must speak in a happy way because it's a happy day. I must exude love to all of you. And wish you well, wish you success. I want you to do better than HH. We will support you so you can be better than HH give you the opportunities as much as possible as we grow the economy. But let's be patient. Zambians are impatient. Zambians sometimes are used to haphazardness. This government is an orderly government. It's a methodical government. That's why we were able to dismantle the debt restructuring, the mining sector revival. You will see us dismantling the challenges in energy. Watch the space. You will see us drive agricultural irrigation. Watch the space because that's where it works. We ask for your support, fellow citizens, monks and mamas, 
God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you.